G'day, Tom here from Reformers Bookshop. It's great to have you with us again for another Browse the Bookshop with Tom. Uh, we do this every fortnight uh, and it's an opportunity for, uh, if you want to uh, comment um, on the video and let us know what you'd like to hear about in terms of books. Um, otherwise, I, I like to show you a few that um, interest me and, and might interest you as well, some new releases and other relevant uh, books. So we'll go through those in a minute. But um, but yeah, jump on. Let us know what, what you're interested in. Otherwise, if you're watching this after it's been recorded, uh, do feel free to get in touch with us at any time. Um, Facebook Messenger, comment on one of our posts or uh, give us a call or email at the shop. We love to help people find good books. So let me start. Uh, let me start with these. I don't know if you saw, well, if you're on Facebook, you probably couldn't help but see the fact that J.I. Packer uh, died recently in the last few days. Uh, and so I thought I'd show you two of his, um, I guess, most popular works. Uh, the first one I'll show you is this, Knowing God. This is, this is definitely his bestseller. Uh, I think I was reading someone, someone said to him um, some time ago, oh, your book sold a million copies, I think. And he um, very humbly said back, I, th I think it's up to two million now. <laughs> but uh, this, this is the book that, um, that sold two million copies at least. And it's all about God, obviously. It's a book that will introduce you to uh, thinking about God, um, considering who he is, what he's like. And uh, if you've watched many of our videos, you'll know that that's a favorite topic of mine. I think it should be a favorite top of it, topic of yours as well. Um, so if you haven't read Knowing God, do that, read it. Uh, it will bless you um, in your spiritual walk, I'm sure. Another one that is um, a classic from J.R. Packer is Evangelism and the Sovereignty of God. I don't know if you've um, thought about the, the tension that is held in um, Reformed theology around the sovereignty of God over who's saved and why then we, should we evangelize and tell people about the gospel? Uh, well, J.L. Packer unpacks those two contrasting or maybe uh, those two parallel truths um, and shows you how they're not something that they're not things that fight against each other, but they work hand in hand in reformed evangelism. So that's a great book to pick up as well. Um, here's a couple of new ones that have come in. Uh, are actually both new releases this year. This one's from Free Grace Press, uh, which is a new publisher that we've started stocking. Um, so check out all of their books on, on our site. Uh, we'll be adding to that range as we go. But this one's called Anticipating God's Rest. Um, and it's all about the Sabbath and rest and a biblical theology of what that's all about. Um, it's a topic I don't know that we think about very often these days. But the whole idea of the, the Lord's Day, why do we meet for church on Sunday? What's the fourth commandment all about? Um, why did God create rest on the seventh day? This book here uh, will give you an introduction, a primer to a biblical theology of the idea of Sabbath throughout the Bible, um, ultimately culminating in the great rest that we have in Jesus Christ. He is the Sabbath, um, as the Bible says, and uh, the Lord's Day points us to that. So I, I find thinking about Sabbath rest and the Lord's Day to be a wonderful topic to consider. And I think you'll, you'll be encouraged if you read that book as well. Here's another one, uh, another style of book that I love. This is called American Puritans, a new collection of biographies from Reformation Heritage Books. And uh, these I call them biographical sketches, these books. There, there's many of them out there, or there's a few out there. Uh, this one takes you through nine different American Puritans, people like uh, John Cotton and Bradstreet, you might know him, uh, John Eliot, Cotton Mather, people like that. Uh, and it's 15 to 20 odd pages per person, uh, and so you get a really brief, punchy little biography uh, that will encourage you. Um, as you look back at how people in the past have sought to follow our Lord. All right, new kids book. Let's show you this one. This one's just arrived in store uh, as well. This is called Seek and Find. 
it's an Old Testament Bible stories. Now, many uh, there's lots of different books that have Old Testament Bible stories, but what makes this one so much fun is that it's a it's a hide and seek sort of book. Um, so you've got all the different things to look for in the pictures, and I think little kids will find this board book um, very engaging. But what makes it so good from a Christian book perspective is the the short bit of text. I don't know if you can see it there on each page is really, really well thought out. Um, it's pithy, uh, gets, to the, gets to the point, isn't moralistic, shows us um, the attributes and character of God as, as revealed in these Old Testament stories. Uh, I think it's, it's a great book for little kids to start to get to see the, uh, the Bible as a big picture, all about God, and to, um, to see something of the Old Testament Bible stories. Uh, now, lastly, I'd like to. We had a, a sale recently on Puritan prayers that uh, we sold out of the new um, Piercing Heaven, the new book on Puritan prayers. We've got more coming in, so watch out for those. But if you have been enjoying uh, Valley of Vision or the Puritan Treasures for Today or the uh, Piercing Heaven that, that we've been promoting recently, these books here are a wonderful. Um, addition to your library as well. There are two volumes, daily readings from the Puritans, devotional book, uh, so one page for each day. Um, they're dated, so you, if, you, if you enjoy going through a devotional each day, this is a great option. And as always with the Puritans, these uh, excerpts are rich, devotional, warm, experiential, Christ-centered, uh, God-glorifying, and they'll lift you up and help you to um, press on in the walk and the race that's set before us. So there you have it, a few new books and uh, a few old ones from J.I. Packer and the Puritans. I hope you uh, found something in there that's, that looks interesting to you. Uh, again, if you want any help finding great Christian books, you know where to find us, reformers.com.au. Uh, you can contact us. All right. We'll see you next fortnight for another Browser Bookshop with Tom.